first half with that strike by Filippo right on the buzzer. Now did that go 10? Appeals that it didn't, and in fact, uh, referee agrees. Not the way you want to start, is it? It's a penalty to Aureri. So back into it. Mamia. Twenty five out from the line now. Anitoni. Bolo. Wanting a quick play of the ball. Left side they come, they got numbers here, old Eddie looking to hit back once again and after scoring right on high time, well that was a little scary, I can't imagine what that was like for the coaching staff, but they get there in the end, Anna Mia, it is who scores the try as she sort of ran back towards her own post for a second there and old Eddie stretched the lead out to 10 points, kick to come. As we catch the action on the SAS Sporting Replay here and great footage brought to you, in goal action by Pete's filming. Johnny on the spot managed to pluck that one out of the sky and as Corey rightly said, you know, sort of trying to get a wee bit closer to the Hayden roll it upright, but uh, happy to plonk the ball there with four defenders around here as we wait for the kick to come. Kick away, is away. away, so the gap remains 10. 22 minutes gone here in the SAS College Rugby League Premier Girls Grand Final. Well, that jumped out pretty quickly. 20 points to 10. Wolf and Grammar find them behind the eight ball at this point. So a high one this time. They've gone short in the last few. A little more depth on this one, and Grandma bring it in. 30 off their own line. Got some work to do now after a really strong run through the middle of the first half. Speaking of strong runs, good one from Nali. Rhodes clears the ruck, and they come down the right-hand side. Pops an offload, but it's knocked on. Having the feeling you probably want to get those couple of mistakes down. Or at least eliminate it. Uh, Riri getting ready to feed the scrum here. And they've certainly got some strike, haven't they, across the park? They do indeed. Particularly strong at uh, fullback there via Malvina Wheelot. She's had some good carries so far. Filippo's looked. Good as well, scored a nice try. So pops and offloads. Up over halfway they go. Numbers looming on the right here for old Eddie. Plays her in and a chance now, although the cover comes across and Grammar survive, although they're now short on the left here and that looks like old Eddie are gonna go that way. His back's turned to the play. They'll do well to hold on here, will Grammar. Wrestled to ground there by Pulipaki. Front of the SAS, or Hayden and Roll It Uprights, I should say. Filippo set to first receiver. She gets the ball, looks to squeeze through a little half gap, but uh, Grammar get there to close that down. Only about two metres to travel here for old Eddie. Great defence. They drive her back to where it started from. Last play coming up now. It's one out staff that was almost picked off, and this should be six again coming up for old Eddie. There looked to be a knock on in there from Auckland Girls Grammar for me. And that's the way out. Referee sees it as well. <laughs> the 35,000 whistles that are in the stand were blowing up.
Big shout out to our major sponsors of the College Rugby League, SAS Sporting Apparel. Fantastic to have them on board. So old Eddie feed. It's straight down the left. And we'll go all the way, old Eddie. Gloria Ono. Straight off the scrum. Found a little half gap and then her carry was just too strong. Took her all the way to the try line. And with 15 to play, it is old Eddie who lead 24 to 10. Kick to come. Fantastic speed here. Good line. And carried across for the try. And if that sounded like I was distance away, I was talking into a walkie-talkie at that point. So camera three certainly getting some play-by-play -play action. Scrappy old kicks, the score remain 24 to 10. <laughs> Just under 14 to play. I wonder what we're giggling about. It's still my uh, co-commentator commentating to the walkie-talkie a moment ago. Got a fair bit going on today. Wearing a few hats. Well, it's been exciting. And, um, and it always is working with our live stream partner, CTAS. And uh, we're adding a wee bit of... Uh, Production values here. We've got another screen, Corey. So that's that's new for us as we get ready for the kickoff, and also having the end goal action so certainly bringing some uh, really good footage to the College Rugby League Grand Final, sponsored by SAS. So Ags need to strike and do it now if they are any chance here. They trail by 14 with as many minutes to play. Through the middle they come, but the old Eddie line is up quickly and is strong as well. Jones shuffles play on, a little run out the back, and Namu tries to isolate her winger. Ball comes loose, that's been knocked on, I think. It has indeed, that's the way it's called. Yeah, a little bit of frustration there. So a chance for old Eddie to put the game away here, you would think, if they can score points. Particularly if they can convert it, take it out too. Beyond that 18 point margin. Charging through the middle now. The last try scorer. I all know. Hit to ground under the tackle of Kamu Hemu. Onto the left hand side they come. They've found success here before. Will they again? Grandma get there just in time to deny her. She's four metres short of the line. Back in field it comes now to Iono. Over for another. Just like that. In fact, that time it was Anna Mamia. Referee points to the spot. Already over for another one. And if the kick is good here, you think it's a. Uh, Big, big hill for Ags to climb at this point, and we watch the SAS replay here. Quick play the ball. Nice service out from the dummy half. Big, strong carry here. Got two, three defenders on. Just too much momentum, and right next to the Hayden roll it up right scores. Four points. Look how happy the fullback is. Going off. Player down and back play by the look of it, so that's a bit of a concern. And our clock will keep ticking away as there's no stoppage in college rugby league. So the kick, kicker getting ready to address the, the student. Nice attempt. Flags are up. Already lead by 20 with 10 to play.
Yeah, that player's going off in the background, Corey. Looks like a wrist injury there, my friend. Well, guys, number 13, Corey Arnold. Converts that try there, extending what it is now with 10 minutes remaining. 30 points to 10. Grammar fling the ball out the back. We've got to try something. Ragdoll to ground. Good first up contact. Had a great game, old Eddie. Drive great tackle. defense. Oh, slipped away. It's gone. Gets away from it just as I complimented, although help soon arrives. Picking the ground. Five short of halfway. Oh, bit messy. Managed to play on. Well, got to stop doing the off. Oh, just the body contacts every now and then. Get a big shoulder on. And you feel the feelings rattling from here. Kick Good goes kick. high. Chase bearing down now on old Eddie. They recover it and bring it back. Inside the final eight and a half now. Crabbing a cross field via Tuha. Pops a late offload. Flings it out the back. No look style. It's nice rugby league here from old Eddie. Five short of halfway now as the Ags contingent erupt. Fair enough. When you're down by 20, you've got to find your small victories. Now they work it down the left-hand side. This is nice stuff. Cover coming across. What a beautiful tackle to prevent a try-scoring opportunity there. Turn the ball over and just for a second look like Tara Fanotti may have been away down that side, but the defense up to task, and it will be Grammer with the ball. Seven and a half minutes to play. It's Old Eddie who lead 30 points to 10 here in the SAS College Rugby League Girls Premier Nine Side Grand Final. So Grammar now go on the attack. Fun little half gap here. And if she's got support, it could be on, but come down from the back. Look at the excitement on the sideline. Can't beat the College Rugby League. Rhodes accelerates through. Yeah, she's been dangerous all day. Bushel. They just needed some time on the ball to mount a bit of pressure, so they, they certainly made them get an attack together. Polipaki charging, looking for her second, oh, but what move. a tackle from the fullback, Wheelett, who for me is just about being the player of the match. Brilliant on both sides of the football. Polipaki told to go back out to the 10 to play the ball here. Strong carry. Did he get there in time? They've only got three metres to go here. Grammar on the attack. Rhodes is set to the left. Now Burrow! Bushel gets a second. Out of dummy half. They rush back for the kick. And smart to do so with five and a half to play. And as you can see here, just getting up, looking for the quick play, the ball right on the line. Knew there was a gap there, about to snuffle one, there she goes. Four points, dive three pretty much untouched there by the defenders. And they're on the on the clock now, so they're going to have to hurry, Corey. Waved away. They want to get back for a speedy kickoff. And else they'll get into position. 
Just hearing in the background a five-minute warning. So they're all set, ready to go. They'll want to get this underway quick, smart. Already are nowhere to be seen. Walking back. Oh, a secret call there. See how she's hiding the call behind the football there, Corey? Not sure if the winger heard. Maybe she did. Oh, oh not lovely. Bad. Not bad. So Grammar will get position back here after finding touch. Wasting a bit of time here. They need to get this moving. Jones will play the ball. It's a tap. Rhodes. Brings on Pukaya. Got half a shoulder on there too. Sort of stopped the midway. Still a fair way to go here for Grammar in terms of marching down towards the try line. They're going to try their luck down the left-hand side. The defense is up quickly. Basketball pass out the back. Plenty of uh, green and black jerseys around, though, to prevent that try scoring opportunity. 15 metres to go here, and there's only three and a half to play. They need to try right now, Eggs. Looping ball over the top comes to centre field. Options on now, and numbers on the right-hand side if they can get it there. The scramble's coming across. Oh, they probably should have kept going right. Numbers were on. on. There's still a player unmarked out there. You've got to pass right here, surely, but the play of the ball is archaic and earns a penalty. That was perhaps a very clever slow exit from the play of the ball there. No, you're right, Corey. Just wondered whether they could have gone on with it there, and it was probably more like a professional foul, I think, where you were sort of aiming at. Oh, you're a harsh man calling for the Simbin there. Options Shot. on, steps back in field, and maybe just the tiniest bit of hope now. They take it out to 18, kick to come. We get a look at the replay here. They'll take the conversion quickly. Nice little shimmy at the line. As you can see from the dummy half here. Offload, nice little dummy. Just gave her enough room to get back in against the uh, grain of defence. Scored the four points. Corey? Kick is good in back play, which means that there's now a two-score gap with two minutes to play by our count. Once again, Old Eddie will be in no hurry. You can see there's not even an Old Eddie player on the screen. Here she comes, the first one. As they slowly make their way back, and they'll aim for the sideline again here, you would think. They've done it with success twice, and out they come. Now their number's there, brings it in, and that might well end any hope. If they can complete a couple of tackles here, old Eddie. They are going to be the SAS College Rugby League Girls Champions for 2019. Strong carry through the middle. They're not done yet. This is Mia Holo. Left side they come. Five metres into attacking territory now. All stacked on that left edge, aren't they? Desperate defence now by the Auckland girls' grammar team. Strong carry through the middle. The offload, surely that was Ford. Pops out again. Already perhaps lucky to maintain position that time. We'll jump out of dummy half. Bumping carry up over the top, but it's a good low down tackle. Hand over ball. Well, they did everything they needed to that time, old Eddie. They go 80 odd metres downfield, and the ball changes direction, changes position, I should say. And with 30 seconds to play, old Eddie are going to win this. And it'll be Grammar with the last use of the ball, it appears. Well done to both teams on a brilliant grand final. It's been entertaining, but old Eddie too strong in the end as we see a looping ball over the top, and that's going to hand the ball back to old Eddie. 
Last play of the grand final. Shakes out a one. Comes Centerfield. Numbers on the left here. Looping ball up over the top. Can they finish with an exclamation mark? Ball pops out the back. Numbers now on the left-hand side. Cover coming across for Grammar. It's not going to matter. Old Eddie College. A 2019 SAS College Rugby League Girls Premier Niner side champions. 30 points to 20, they win this one over Auckland Girls Grammar School. Well done to both teams on a brilliant grand final as we see an eggs play it down there in back play, but entertaining one to kick off our live stream program, Troy. Yeah, that started off at cracking pace and, uh, you know, at half time being 10 points all, we knew we had a game on our hands. And to finish up 2030 with the winners being Arari, you can see how happy she is and look at the crowd lighting up over there. Fantastic to see. It's always great to do college rugby league and, uh, you know, it's followed passionately by all of the fans. And um, I don't think getting out of school early has anything to do with it, Corey. So we get ready now for the presentations as the officials from the ARL team start heading over to the far side. And there's some fantastic crowd shots there in the background. As we see on screen, team celebrating now and getting ready for the uh, congratulations and high fives. The SAS Sporting Apparel major sponsor for the College Rugby League. Brought to you by our live stream partner, CTAS. And the end goal action is brought by Pete's Filming. So fantastic coverage today as we see the teams on screen now shaking hands as we get ready for the presentation. Be right back very, very soon. And as you see, the supporters in the background there going off on screen as we pick up the audio from Lynn Current as she's going through the presentations here today. Apologies, Lynn Cameron. Don't come and box my ears, Lynn. Thank 
Jewish school will present Aurere with the shield for 2019. Congratulations to our champions. Fantastic images down here as we see the 2019 winners for this year's SAS College Final in the Women's Premier Division. Barariri, deserved winners, and they've just been presented with the shield for this year. And you can see them, they're just starting to whip their boots off because they're going to cross the track very, very shortly just to thank their fans and get a couple of team shots for their social media, I'm sure. And there you see the team on the center of your screen with a fabulous shield there, the Premiership Ladies Shield. And there's a couple of warriors there today. And um, just fantastic opportunity for all the girls to come down here and to um, get some photos. And the guy with the ball bag there, he needs to move to the left. So we try and capture some of those shots. Great to see And there they are now heading off across the track to catch up with their support base as we get ready for the next game. So don't go too far away, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back real soon with all the more live league action. <laughs>